In this video, I'll show you how to use the Facebook ads library to scout your competitors ads for successful ads so that you can learn from their copy and their creatives and test it against your creatives to see if they're getting better results than you. And you can also use this technique to get a lot of ideas about your ads and your ad copy. So let's jump straight to it. If you search for the Facebook ad library, you will end up on this page. Now you need to set it up first. So as you can see on top, I am, um, the default option is the country where you live in. In this case for mine is Bulgaria and your um, default option is issues, elections or pol politics or search all and you want to search all. So you will put here your uh, competitor's name and for example, I can see there's a digital marketing by uh, Udacity, which is their uh, digital marketing division. So let's open that up and see what they are advertising for. First of all, here in the page, page transparency section, you can see some uh, information about who is actually uh, involved in this. And you can see who are the people managing this. This is um, Udacity's group of uh, people that is actually running ads. So these are their students. And we can obviously see that they have a lot of students from Saudi Arabia, Egypt, India, and I can also see like everyone uh, who are the people who manage this page and run ads. So this is how they involve their students in uh, actual ad campaigns. Now, this is a primary advantage of them. Uh, this is their main MVP, the fact that they uh, actually involve their students uh, in the actual creation of campaigns, which is very cool. Uh, but that's why their program costs several thousand dollars. And um, it's um, a clear differentiation for them. So it's a good idea. We can see, you know, who are the people trans um, involved in this or like where they're from. And we can clearly see that Saudi Arabia, the US, Egypt, India, and Germany are some of their uh, bigger countries. And like the Arab Emirates as well, uh, the UK, Canada, Brazil is also s uh, quite good. So um, that's fine. We can also see if any organizations manage this page and we can see some of the history. It was made on the 28th of February, 2017. Right, great. So now we can see all of their ads and here you have a filter by country. Uh, so for example, if I wanted to figure out what ads are they running in Saudi Arabia, I could just um, put that here. Uh, but what we are focused on more is in order for us to figure out which are the successful ads that they run, because they may run hundreds of ads, but that does not mean in any way that they are successful. Uh, in order to figure out which are the, the successful ones, we look at this date here, launched in November 2020. We want to look for ads that have been running for quite a while. So what we want to do to do that is scroll to the very, very bottom to figure out which ads have been running the longest. And let's just repeat that process over and over again until we get to the end. So their best ads uh, have been running since June 2020. Now that's not too long, uh, but again, we need to understand the concept uh, here that it's their students actually running ads over here. Um, a good idea that we might decide to copy in the future. And you can see again, they're advertising their main MVP, which is gain real world experience running live campaigns as you learn from top, top experts in the field. That's very cool. Launch your career with a 360 degree understanding of digital marketing. And they show an image that kind of reinforces their, um, uh, unique value proposition. And that's that they are going to work with their students. And again, they're not focusing on the price, but that's kind of what excuses the several thousand dollars, um, price over here. And it's, um, very, very good. Um, obviously as an ad, maybe we can see some other things that they're doing. They're providing free resources. They are advertising, um, you know, some, um, downloadables that you can download directly. This is a good idea maybe to, to do it with a, a download and they can download, um, that and engage, um, a lot more with their brand, learn 
uh, what do they offer through the resources that they provide. This is another cool technique. And again, this you need to consider this in the um, in the context of what they're doing. They're selling a very, very expensive product, um, which is digital marketing education, just like we do at Masters Academy. But theirs is like thousands of times uh, more expensive. So they need to have a longer customer journey. And they provide these free re resources, which can be directly downloaded um, and that's a cool idea that we might want to copy. We can see free uh, eBooks um, and so on. And another idea that they're using is they're using their students uh, to do their uh, advertising, which is cool. Um, and we have one that's uh, become a digital marketing that's been uh, launched in October 2020. This is not too long. We are now in November, so we can't really be sure if they're uh, successful with this. So let's check another competitor of ours, that's Udemy. Now Udemy um, are advertising lots of different things. So they're not specifically focused on advertising digital marketing stuff, but we can still see how they are advertising their courses in general and we could um, maybe see some interesting ideas that they have. Now they use a lot of stock photos. I don't like this. I don't like this at all, at all, at all. But um, again, we'll repeat our approach of scrolling to the bottom to see which ads have been running the longest. We are still on November 2020. They've been, they are running lots of ads again. They are a big, big um, organization. So. Uh, it's normal that they run hundreds of ads. This is something interesting. Uh, and you can also scroll through it and see what kind of catches your eye, because if it catches your eye, it might also uh, catch other people's eyes in uh, in the feed. So another cool approach that, that, that they're using is they're using a video uh, with kind of a beginning thumbnail, uh, which kind of gives out the um, the idea. And this is how the video actually begins. Uh, master da uh, data science in one month. So a practice that they're doing is they're always showing the time that it's going to take you to complete the courses, which is cool. And we can see, maybe we can zoom this up a little bit. Um, designed for anyone with interest in data science, this course will give you a complete data science training that covers statistics, mathematics, Python, and machine and deep learning. Here are some of the details of what you learn. Right? This is an approach that they're using. And sign up today for a special discount, plus you'll be protected by a 100% mining back guarantee. Right, That's good. Uh, it's not bad. We should try, try this approach um, and measure it against our own ideas. So if their approach gets us better results, we might adopt some of the techniques that they are using. And again, this with the videos, and uh, this is also a very cool format that can be used in, in Instagram stories and so on. So that's very cool. Again, here we have learn character drawing, which is very clear what they are offering and they show you the result, which is good practice as you have learned um, with that, uh, with the advice that I gave you on creating ads. So we can see that they are applying some good practices over here and I wanna go down, right? This is good, very descriptive, a great approach to try. So this is something, um, that we might want to test. And this is the uh, ads that they've been running the, long the longest. We can see that they're also learning, uh, like not learning, uh, doing ads in Spanish. They have a format that works for them. Like what are you going to get? How much time is it going to cost? And a clear descriptive image of what uh, you will do like this is good. This is definitely not right. Typing is not related to Google ads. Um, and so this one is much, much better. Um, and let's take a look at their longest running ads. So designed for anyone who wants to learn piano, the same approach, by the way. So if they are repeating this approach, it has probably been tried and tested. This is another thing that you can uh, look for. If that approach has been applied in many of their ads, it may be for a very, very good reason. And so 
Um, designed for anyone who wants to learn piano, this course will help you master piano and keyboard in a very short time. Here are some details of what you'll be learning and sign up today for a special discount, plus you'll be protected by 100% money back guarantee. Good. Um, then they tell you what you're gonna get, how much time it's gonna take, and we should always read the copy on the bottom, piano and keyboard for beginners. Um, the piano for all online class. Well, that was uh, not very well written, but anyways, learn piano in weeks, not years, play by ear. Now that's very, very cool. They are showing them using um, a, a very connecting term to show the type of mastery they're going to acquire, which is very cool. Um, and learn to read m music, pop, blues, jazz, ballads, improvisation, and classical, very cool. So they're kind of showing you uh, the different types of things that you are going to learn. So let's say I'm interested in this ad and I want to investigate it further. I want I can click here uh, the see ad details and we can see the data behind the ad, right? It's currently inactive, but that doesn't matter. Uh, it's been running since November 32 to, until December uh, 2009, right? It's just an old ad. It has not been running all the time. So you want to be uh, looking generally at the longest active ads. So this, for example, was a Black Friday ad and obviously it was launched a long time ago, but it's not still running. So you wanna look for the active ads that have been running the longest. Um, but anyways, we can see that this ad is kind of employing an approach that they are using quite often, meaning that it's refined and it's maybe a good idea to copy and test against our ads. Now, I'm not saying you should copy their ads directly, uh, but you can, you can actually copy their approach, adopt it, and then test it against your own ideas to see if they're doing a better job than you. Um, I think that's something that you should definitely uh, try out. Now, let's try and convert this ad into a Masters Academy ad. Um, what would we do? Designed for anyone who wants to learn digital marketing, this course will help you master uh, digital advertising, Google AdWords, Facebook ads, social media ads, SEO, email marketing, and so on. We have to figure out how to fit that. Here are some of the details of what you'll be learning. Then we can tell them what they're gonna learn. Sign up today for a special discount, plus you'll be protected by 100% money back guarantee, right? Now that's great. Uh, we might decide to learn a similar uh, Black Friday ad. And then we are gonna tell them, learn digital marketing in, I don't know, six months, one year. I don't know how much it's going to take you guys to go through all the courses, but we know that there are a lot. And so here, let's uh, take a look at the title. Um, that would be something like digital marketing for beginners. Um, the, the masterclass for everyone, maybe, um, or online masterclass for everyone. Learn piano in months, uh, like, like learn digital marketing in months, not years. And, and then maybe uh, master search engine optimization, advertising, copywriting, digital marketing strategy, and all that. So we could just use their style, apply it to what we want to do, and see how it compares to our advertising. This is a very important thing to do, even if you think uh, sometimes that their ads are not better than yours, you need to know that. And sometimes some of their approaches might work really, really well. So I do recommend you tr try this out. And again, you have to um, try and figure out, um, sorry, that was not this one. Uh, you have to try and figure out what um, they've been running for longer. And you can see there's a marker here that's saying that the ad is still active. So let's go to the bottom and see what are their longest running active ads. So these are the ones in Spanish. Definitely we should be translating our courses in Spanish and possibly even Chinese. I don't yet speak Chinese, but maybe I should learn it and do it myself. Um, and uh, we have, all right, that the Spanish ones are learn, learning, running the longest. I believe that's Japanese, not Chinese. Um, or it might as well be Chinese. Let's try and see some characters. Well, it's definitely like Chinese or Japanese. Um, 
looks more like Japanese, but we don't know. Um, and And again, there is this format and this ad has been active since August 2020, not too long. Um, so obviously, um, the ones that are in different languages are doing good. And this format with the story and the video uh, with the descriptive text on the top and um, all that is very cool. It's a video that, uh, that auto plays, which is again, very cool. And they are using um, kind of the same approach, what you learn and kind of give you a special offer and a money back guarantee. So you should definitely be trying this uh, approach out. Right, so um, I highly recommend that you make a list of all your competitors, go to the ads library, take a look at all of their ads, figure out what are the most successful approaches that they're using, anything you like or anything you don't, um, and uh, try to make a few ads that use their approach. So that would um, help you measure how well you're doing against your competitors, number one. It could give you some ideas. And also um, you can see ads that things that are repeating, like if they're using the same approach for many different ads, that's probably something that has been refined over time and they see success with that. So that's kind of one way to figure out if their ads are successful. And the other one is if they're if they have been running these ads for a long period of time. And once you go through all of your competitors, um, compile these ideas and test them against your own, you can also use this to just get inspiration. Also, you can use it for competitive research and figure out what uh, specific benefits they're focusing on, just like I showed you with the uh, case of Udacity. And um, all of these things can help you dramatically increase the performance of your campaigns. Um, and if they don't, that's good because it means that you're already doing better than your competitors. So you should definitely try it out, um, if not just for bragging rights. And uh, that's everything I have on scouting your competitors with the Facebook ads library. And I'll see you guys in the next video.